Hello, I'm Renault from Momentins and uh, welcome to this Infinite Rana engine tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about scenarios. Um, if you've followed the tutorials in order, uh, you've probably already have a game running. Uh, but maybe it's a bit monotonous, maybe it's always kind of the same thing, uh, the same enemies, platforms coming at your character. Um, and you want to change that. That's where scenarios come in. They will allow you to trigger scenario events, uh, actually scenario items, because the term event is used for something else. So scenario items uh, at a certain time or at uh, when you reach a certain score. Um, let's uh, have a look at how it works. I'm uh, in my uh, vertical demo scene right now, and if I have a look at uh, the scenario manager here and the manager, you'll see that it has a vertical scenario uh, component attached to it. So if I open it, um, we'll see that it's a, a class, a dedicated class only for this scene that extends uh, the base class scenario manager. So let's have a look at it first. This class doesn't do much in itself, it's meant to be extended. And when you extend it, the only thing you have to handle uh, and override is the scenario method. Uh, if you have a look at it, you'll see that it even contains examples and uh, guidelines on how to use them, uh, use the, the scenario method and how to override it. Uh, if you look at the rest of it, you'll see that uh, it has two parameters, the evaluation frequency, which is the time in seconds, uh, and well, the frequency in seconds uh, at which the scenario will be evaluated. Um, you may want to change it depending on the number of uh, scenario items that you have uh, and really your type of gameplay uh, by default it's one second once every every second it will be evaluated but um, maybe if you have a lot of conditions you'll want to evaluate it much uh, at much uh, well uh, time frame a time frame much uh, more spaced um, or maybe not so really it's up to you know that if you do it like uh, 10 times per second Maybe it's a bit useless and it will have an impact of, on performance, uh, even if uh, most of the time it will only be conditions, so um, not too costly. And you can also decide to trigger events. So um, we have methods to add time and score events. We'll get back to that. And if we look at the evaluate scenario, you don't have to touch it most of the time. It will just do its job and you, you don't have to care about it, but uh, if you're curious, uh, it will pass every time you, you've decided to evaluate your scenario, so uh, depending on the frequency you've uh, just set, uh, it will it will be maybe once every second, every, once every second it will pass all your scenario items, check for their conditions, and if the conditions are met, here or here, um, it will trigger the action asso associated to, the, to your item. Uh, it will turn it false because you've reached that scenario item condition so it doesn't have to be triggered again and if you've decided to use the event manager it will trigger an event that you can catch from any other class. Um, let's see an example of that. Uh, our vertical scenario as you can see it's really simple uh, takes uh, as a, a public uh, multiple object puller a platform spawner that we want to control using our scenario because we want to activate different kinds of platforms uh, spawned by our spawner uh, and if we look at the scenario method it only has uh, well basically three lines and we say that at 20 seconds we want to enable the blue platforms 40 seconds we want to enable the green platforms and at one minute we want to enable the red platforms to do that, we call our enable platform method, and uh, depending on you know the parameters that we've passed, it will uh, call the native uh, enable objects method of the spawner, turning the red platforms uh, on or off depending on you know what we've decided. So um, here we are. We have our platform spawner that is linked to our scenario manager. As you can see, it has. Um, three different kind of platforms only the red ones are enabled by default and if I play the game and try to survive for 20 seconds we should start seeing uh, blue platforms so let's see fortunately for me this game is not too hard well not with these speed settings at least 
and soon we should start seeing blue platforms yeah here we are there was some slight delay uh, because the spawner is uh, really outside of the scene or at least the camera view so but it switches at 20 seconds and as we have a uh, one second frequency it can be 21 seconds but really doesn't matter much and I've survived for 40 seconds and now we're starting to see uh, green platforms if I were to play more we'd see uh, I think uh, red platforms again uh, so that's really all there is to scenarios it's quite simple um, if you want to have an example of how it works if you are not targeting the time but the score uh, you can look at the flight of the albatross scene uh, which is the this one and uh, this one has a different scenario manager it's the albatross scenario so really you want to create a different class for each of your scenes it's really something that is specific then there's no real way to make it generic um, and this one will control a rock spawner a wall spawner which are two types of different obstacles uh, and also a score text uh, some kind of display that that comes at your uh, albatross when you uh, when you fly and um, if we look at the scenario method uh, we have three time events basically the same thing as before and we also have score events so uh, when I get to 100 point 200 300 I'm going to display uh, a score text let's have a look at uh, the result so if I survive for 100 points uh, the points are in the top left corner it should be soon as you can see I get this uh, big 100 sign uh, coming at me and if I get to 200 I'll get another one there it is so um, really simple stuff and uh, usually you want to uh, put everything in your scenario but maybe you want to use the events and catch uh, the scenario events into other classes really it's up to you I've I think I've created a system that, you, that is really uh, versatile and allows you to do things the way you want. Um, I hope that you learned something new today. That's all I had about scenarios and uh, I'll see you next time.